Hi everyone, let's go over my bullish and bearish Elliott Wave scenarios on Bitcoin, starting with the bullish scenario where we have an unfinished B or 2, after which we expect continuation to the upside in a wave C or a wave 3. Common target area for your wave 2 is between the golden pocket and the 786 Fibonacci, taken from the low to the high of wave 1, giving you a target area between 60k and 58.4k. Common target area for your wave B also includes the 886 Fibonacci at 57.5k. This is a rare target however for a wave 2, so if price would move towards the downside, hits the 886 and then starts moving towards the upside, the probabilities are higher that move towards the upside is a wave C compared to a wave 3, which in turn increases the probabilities for a 3 wave structure and a continuation to the downside at a later stage. The invalidation for this scenario is price moving towards the downside, taking out the low at 56.5k. Areas of support and confluence with the Fibonacci targets here is the first blue box at 59.4 to 60k, second blue box here between 57.9k and 58.3k, and this red line just below the 886 at 57.2k. Inside wave B or 2, we are then looking for a three wave corrective structure to the downside, which we at the moment label as a WXY, a complex structure with a zigzag in wave W, a zigzag in a wave X, which is very common as well, and an inside wave Y, either a zigzag to the downside or a flat towards the downside. But by all means, the common target area for your wave Y is between the 0 0.618 and the 1.236 trend base fib extension taken from the high to the low of wave W to the high of wave X, giving you a target area between 60.1k and 56.8k. Preferably, this wave Y is also finishing after the 382 FIB time, comparing wave W with wave Y. Take a FIB time from the start to the end of this wave W and put it on top with the third click of this wave X, and you will see that the 382 is positioned on Wednesday, the 15th of May at 10 a.m. Central European time. As mentioned, the two options that we are looking for at the moment inside this wave Y is either a zigzag to the downside in the white count, a 5 wave move A, 3 wave move B, and then a 5 wave move to the downside in wave C towards the support areas down here, or a flat structure where we have a 3 wave move down in an A, then a 3 wave structure to the upside in B, moving above the high of X over here, and also hitting the resistance area that we just missed out on hitting, which is the blue box here between 63.4k and 64k after which we then want to see an impulsive structure to the downside in a wave c towards the support areas that we have down here now the bearish scenario locally is that we are going for the lows before taking the high at 65k in this particular scenario we're then looking for this move to the downside as a wave one or a then a two or b and continuation to the downside in a wave c or a wave three Preferably your move is finished over here after a WXY and wave Y here is a zigzag ABC towards the upside which means that in a sideways double combo WXY wave W has to be a flat structure. It's not allowed to be a zigzag structure because wave X went below the origin of wave W as you can see WXY X lower than wave W. Therefore, we have a W flat, flat in X, and then a zigzag in wave Y. But this does lead to a little bit of a problem with regards to the AO1, because an A slash 1 has to be a 5-wave impulsive structure to the downside, and we can count a nice 1, 2, 3, 4 over here, ending 4 at this particular high. And then we can count a wave 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the downside. However, because wave W has to be a flat structure, this low can't be the low of 1 or a, it has to be a wave B, but if we end wave 1 or A at this low over here, where is our wave 4? Right? 1, 2, 3, where is wave 4? And then another 5 to the downside. So it does lower the probabilities for this particular scenario, the fact that we can't really count a nice A or 1, ending it at the low over here, instead of taking the low here, which is impossible because W has to be a flat structure because Y is a zigzag in this particular scenario. Now with regards to the CVD divergence, we do have some bullish CVD 
CVD divergences over here, higher low in price, lower low on the CVD, has to be said that there were a lot of bullish CVD divergences in this section already. All of these bullish CVD divergences have played out. This price was making higher highs as well and had this recent push towards the upside. So at the moment, it would be best to look for more local support. But as you can see, especially with the news as well earlier today, it's quite messy price section. So it's good to wait for a little bit of a range and see what price is doing. With regards to the news, we had some news today, but also tomorrow, Wednesday, the 15th of May, we have news at 2.30 p.m. Central European time. So make sure you trade safe as volatility might increase on the chart. If we then go to the probabilities of the different scenarios, then the probabilities are at the moment higher for an unfinished wave B or 2, where we are then looking for a WXY to the downside with inside wave Y, either a zigzag ABC or a bigger bounce to the upside in a flat a b and then a wave c to the downside to still take this low at least one more time at 60.2 k on the second place we then have the bearish scenario where you have a wave one two and you look for continuation to the downside or potentially even a finished wave two or b where this is the low and you look for price to move towards the upside however based on the local structures we have here those probabilities are low because we can't count a nice impulse a diagonal can only be expanding which is very rare and never preferred and then a double one two one two the second wave two hit the 886 which is incredibly rare for a wave two I hope that this video was helpful or valuable to you. Please check out the most recent educational video I've made about the best trading indicator you can use in my opinion, which is the CVD. And for now, thanks for watching and subscribing and I'd like to see you at the next one. Bye bye.